Hi everyone, Ferrariman601 here. Now, most normal people out there would walk out to a site like this in the morning and say, damn it, I have to clear my car off. I think, hmm, aerodynamics. What can we see from the patterns of the snow left by the air as I drive the car? Stand back, I'm doing science. Today we're talking about the Quanda effect. Basically, my knowledge of aerodynamics comes from having watched Formula One for the last eight, nine years or so. And one of the things that the teams have been exploiting for the last couple of seasons is this thing called the Quanda effect. Greatly simplified, it is the tendency for fluid flows to track onto adjacent surfaces, as I'm trying to demonstrate here in this picture of my model of the Red Bull RB8 from 2012. The red lines indicate where they were trying to aim the exhaust in an attempt to seal the diffuser to try and recreate that effect of the exhaust blown diffusers that they were doing in 2010 and 2011. The exhaust pipes are initially angled upward, so that flow initially exits in an upward position toward the rear wing. However, due to the Quanda effect they are trying to exploit by putting these ramps in on the backs of the side pods and onto the floor, they are trying to get that high pressure, high temperature exhaust flow to attach itself to the adjacent surfaces. And that explains the flow lines that I have so badly drawn in this picture. The solid lines are the main high pressure flow from the exhaust as they go toward that tire squirt area between the diffuser and the rear tires, and the dotted lines are how the flow may be expanding around that ramp section in a further attempt to get that flow as close as possible to the rear tire to try and fill that gap that the regulations mandate be between the floor and the front of the rear tire in order to seal the diffuser so you don't get air leaks and you get a more efficient diffuser. However, what's that mean for a road car? Well, these interesting shots here shows how the airflow is attaching to the roof of my Beetle, and you can see, as the snow has been distributed, what's left of it anyway, that we have a continuous and very smooth flow from front to rear. Obviously, that's taken from the rear. Here's another shot of it. And you can see what's been going on here. Most of the snow has been taken away by the airflow, yes, but what remains shows a very straight very smooth flow attached to the surface of the roof of my car. This next shot from the front, so we're going front to rear, the right side of the picture is the front of the car, you can see the direction of the flow and you can see how the air has pushed that snow around and you can see where it's left. You can see the shut lines where the doors are, snow is collecting, a little bit of turbulence in those areas. Here's the leading edge of that flow and you can see just how the air has tracked onto that. Obviously you can see detachment going on because of the snow itself being there. However, from what I saw in the rear view mirror, it's a solid track of air coming down off of the rear of the car. Very cool. And one last shot from the front, seeing, visualizing that flow once again from front to rear, from right to left. So I just thought that was some fairly interesting stuff. And uh, I'm not a science person, I'm not an engineer by any means. I study political science and Spanish, so uh, this is not my expertise whatsoever, but I thought this was interesting, and I thought I'd put a quick little slideshow together to try and demonstrate what I do on slow mornings. So until then, see you next time.